So, uh, this was me trying to be clever, and I've had to re-upload this episode because, uh, yeah, I had a copyright strike. So basically, uh, this is my Space 1999 episode, and I had it opening up with the Space 1999 credits, and the whole this episode bit, I had it interspersed with clips from the video, and I thought I was being really clever, and I had an opening graphic that said, not starring Man Martin Lando, not starring Barbara Bain, um, absent producer Jerry Anderson, absent producer Sylvia Anderson, also not starring Barry Morse and all the rest of it. And it was absolutely fantastic, right? And it took me hours. It literally took me about three hours to put this title sequence together. As I say, it was the opening title sequence from Breakaway interspersed with clips, just like they did in the original episode. Unfortunately, um, YouTube have blocked it in just about well, all the countries that are relevant, so I'm sorry about that. Um, you just have to put up with me talking now instead. Hey, and welcome to another episode of Total Ramblings. Um, this is a special episode for one of my followers. Johnny Mac 26 this is for you. Um, so the other day I uh, showed off uh, my Lego Classic Space kind of collection. I've got a few other little bit of sets on the way, some more uh, roads and things, you know. Um, I've spent the evening actually cleaning up some of these ships because they get a bit dusty at the vault. And uh, the Europa here got very dusty in the kitchen. And uh, anyway, um, Johnny Mac 26 who's one of the very few people who actually comments on my videos, said he really liked Space 1999 and he liked the Eagle. Well, Johnny, Johnny Mac 26 whatever your real name is, I've got a bit of a treat for you because, as promised, these boxes contain my fleet of eagles. Um, ignore the uh, ignore the Blake 7 weaponry, Federation gun, Liberator gun, teleport bracelet, Stormtrooper blaster. Uh, I'm going to be cracking open these boxes for you, Johnny Mac 26, and showing you my fleet of eagles. So, um, let's get on that right now, shall we? Right, um, I'm just trying to find a suitable order to go through these boxes in. Um, so each box has a number, but <coughs> they're not particularly in any particular kind of order. So, um, basically, uh, these are the Product Enterprise slash 1612 Eagles. So, some years ago, uh, a company called, I think it was Product Enterprise, who used to also do like Daleks and things. I've got some of those. Um, they released a series of Eagles. And then that company went under and, be, well, the moulds or whatever, or became 1612. I can't really remember exactly what happened. So basically I have a mixture of all of them here. So um, we're going to start with here. Um, here is a very basic Eagle transporter. The Eagle, as with many sci-fi fans, an absolutely fantastic design. Um, meant to be kind of like, you know, a, an achievable kind of spaceship uh, that we might use on the moon, albeit albeit the fuel tanks are tiny and in space 1999 they definitely had some kind of gravity manipulation technology because they had gravity towers. The other thing I also worry about is when the pod comes out is I do worry about how unless these motors were exactly calibrated properly you could get twisting in the frame but hey let's not worry about things like that. So um, yeah this one has the standard sort of passenger module in it. Um, so and what I'm going to do is, I'm not just going to show these to you guys, I'm just I'm going to also line them up because I like lining things up. Uh, here we have one of two rescue eagles that I've got. Uh, I've no doubt we'll come across the other one in a minute. Um, but I believe, if I'm right, let me just try and refresh my memory here. Um, the striping wasn't right on the first version of this from Product Enterprise, um, but it's been changed subsequently for the for the more for the newer release. Uh, we've got a similar situation with the VIP Eagle. So this is basically just a transport eagle, just I imagine with more luxurious accommodation for you know whoever's on board. Um, and then the last one from this particular first box 
is we've got a sort of uh, a freight eagle with uh, a lifty mechanism y thing. Um, and the, the beauty about these eagles is, right, is that, um, yeah, so this one just kind of clips off, right? There's no, is that any, any, any of the eagles can carry any of the modules. I mean, that's, that's the whole point of the eagle, right? So um, that's the first box. There's about 10 or 11 boxes to go through. Um, let's just grab another box here at random. Um, right, so this is the uh, sort of retro eagle that they did. Um, this might make more sense if I showed the other ones first, the originals, uh, which I have got here somewhere. Um, oh, they're in the back there. Give me just a moment. I'm sorry this isn't very organized, but uh, it will all make sense when you look at it holistically. Um, so in fact, uh, I actually have, let me just move the camera up. I actually have some of the, well, the dinky originals. Now, the boxes aren't original. These are, these are retro repro boxes, right? Um, but the eagles themselves are original. Um, so they did, they did uh, a white eagle with a sort of red cargo pallet, uh, red engines and these sort of nuclear waste canisters. All right. Um, they also did, they did the same model, but the engines had a bit of chrome on them and they went with a blue finish for some reason. Okay. Um, and then they had a transporter eagle. Now this is the one I had as a kid, not this exact one, but I had this model as a kid, which basically had, was, was green for some reason. And uh, 1612 released uh, retro, an eagle in retro colors, which is why it's this color with the red engines and the silver here and the blue. So, so there is an explanation for that. Um, next out of the box, um, this has got a sort of crane thingy on it. And essentially there's an episode um, where they are, the moon, which is drifting through space has encountered um, a rogue sort of asteroid and they're planting nuclear charges on it by lowering them on with these thingies here. Um, so that is the purpose of that particular eagle. Here is the revised VIP eagle. So the original one from Product Enterprise just had kind of like silver, sorry, uh, um, orange sides with nothing on the top. Um, but allegedly this one is more accurate. I believe there is some debate on this, but essentially I do have both versions of the VIP eagle, as you will see. Um, and then the last one in this particular box is we have this sort of cargo carrying eagle again with another pallet, but this one's got like a removable sort of, you know, piece of equipment on there um, that doesn't actually stay on. It just, you know, so for moving stuff around the moon. Um, so that's that box. Also in this, in one of those boxes, by the way, I've got a com lock. Um, it does work but I don't think I've got it switched on. I may have actually taken the batteries out. Um, and also I've got the gun, which is cool. Oh, that one works. Yeah, so um, how did that work? Oh, there we go, there's, there's the button. I think the batteries are low on that. Anyway, right, onwards, onwards. So uh, this is another box, so again, We've got another retro eagle, and as I've already explained, that's explained. You know, that kind of explains why it's this weird green colour. Um, and I'm a completist, so I had to buy it. Uh, we have this one as well. Uh, so this is basically a transport eagle, but it's got like an extendable arm with a pod. Now, this I believe is from. Don't quote me. The episode New Adam, New Eve, I think, which is a series two episode. And um, I don't watch series two of Space 1999 because I can't stand it. Um, the next one, and I've got a few of these, not my favorite eagle. It's known as the laboratory eagle. It's got this sort of extra pair of airlocks on the side. Um, but you see it, uh, I think, in the closing credits of Space 1999, just kind of going around the moon. Um, and then here we have another transporter eagle, uh, but this one, um, yeah, uh, I, uh, it, this one I think mounts a laser cannon on it, um, but I can't remember how it does that exactly. 
Um, it might even be broken, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's that box, right? Um, next box up. We have just another regular Transporter Eagle, uh, although this one has got a bit of sort of patterning on it, a bit of colouring on the side, which looks quite good, like weathering almost. Um, the 1612 ones all, all have these aluminium metal uh, engine bells. Um, we also have another pallet, sort of Transporter Eagle, okay. Um, We've got a glider, which goes on one of the eagles. Again, that's from a specific episode. And then we've got two more of these laboratory eagles. I'll be honest with you, I've got three laboratory eagles. They're all different releases. That's probably three more than I need, but I'm keeping all of them anyway. So there we go. Um, right, what is in the next box? Stand by. Right, in this box here, ah, oh, this is different. So, um, we have an alien spaceship. This is from the episode Earthbound, and it's weird, but also kind of funky. Um, we also, and I'm not gonna get these out individually, we've got tanks. Um, uh, so we've got different types of moon base kind of laser tank. Uh, they've got sort of movable guns on them. There's three different models. I think it goes without saying that this is probably everybody's favorite because it's kind of got like an eagle type module on the front. We also have a couple of hawks. Um, so I think, I, think, I think the white one, this white hawk, I think, if I remember rightly, and I'm not an expert and I don't really remember, I think this is the, as it was like, as it was originally intended to appear. Um, but they thought it looked a bit too close to uh, the eagle in terms of color scheme. So on, te on the TV, it appeared like this, which, eh, okay, doesn't look as good in my opinion, but that's the way it goes. Not much I can do about that. Um, we've got a few more boxes to go. Um, I've got two of these. Um, I ordered two by mistake. This is the Swift. This is like uh, a precursor to the Eagle. Uh, this appeared in the season two episode, Brian the Brain, I believe, um, which I've never seen because I can't stand season two. Sorry, the music in season one and the premise in season one is amazing. Season two is just your schlock, from, in my opinion. But I got two of those, so I'm not gonna show you both of those um, because they're identical. What happened was I, I always pre-order these things and I ordered one and I forgot I'd already ordered one. So there you go. Um, this is the penultimate box of eagles. So uh, this is a battle damaged eagle. So you can see there it's got some uh, sort of mild kind of you know laser damage or whatever on there um this one here has a detachable cockpit module and it just uh, make sure this is the right way up it just it does work i promise there you go it just magnetizes on there so that's different um this is the other rescue eagle where have i put the first one I've buried it somewhere. Yeah, here we go. So um, this is this is the original one from from Product Enterprise. I can tell because it's got plastic engine bells. And this is the original sort of uh, paint scheme that they put out for the Rescue Eagle. And then uh, 1612 put out this one, um, which allegedly again is more accurate. Um, and then the final eagle we have is another transporter eagle. And in my opinion, you can never have too many of those um, because that's the bulk of the fleet, Eek, right? Now, I've got one final thing to show. Um, and I don't think I've got any more of these on order. I don't believe that they're doing any more um, eagles in this scale. Um, I'm just gonna get this out of its box. This is a uh, limited edition. All the ones I got, by the way, were issue 219, but I don't have room to keep boxes. So what I tend to do is I tend just to keep the um, certificate, the, the, the sort of number. But because I always pre-ordered them, they always sent me 219. This is a signed one, all right? So this is signed by Brian Johnston. Uh, we've got a slightly crumpled photo, but look at this. It's lovely sort of silk interior. And then what we have here is it's it's a transport eagle, but the pod has been signed 
by the creator slash designer. And as you can see here, I keep a lot of my stickers in here. So um, that's a very quick jumbled look at my eagles. Um, I'm going to show you the whole fleet now lined up because lining up things is cool. Here you go, it's my entire eagle fleet. Um, 21 eagles plus the three dinkies, two swifts and two hawks, plus an ultra probe uh, cockpit and a Kaldorian spaceship, a glider, some nuclear mines. I've got loads of other bits and pieces like, so for example, one of them's got like a, the, one of the rescue eagles has got a magnetic airlock that you can attach as if you're sort of boarding another eagle. Another one's got thrusters that you can attach for lifting off of heavy, you know, heavy gravity planets. Plus I've got the tanks, of course. Um, yeah, that is my Eagle collection, modest as it may be. It might go without saying that I quite like Eagles from Space 1999. Uh, oh yeah, also got lots of buggies as well, moon buggies. Um, I'm not... The world's biggest Space 1999 fan. What I mean by that is, is I'm not an expert on all of the episodes, on all the happenings, and I don't watch season two. I'm sorry about that. Sue me. Um, but I really, 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 really dig the aesthetic of the Eagle spaceship. Um, and I hope very much that you've enjoyed me showing you my fleet. Um... They do look particularly good all sort of grouped up like they're in a, a moon base hangar. I'm doing this in the kitchen because my lounge is currently full of Lego. Um, so there you go. Um, I hope that was fun, Johnny Mac 26. Um, I'll see you next time, maybe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. If you enjoy what I do here, although I can't think why, please remember to click the like button, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. You might also want to check out my website, www.worldsbestestpoet.com, if you fancy a laugh.